This is the key English test. Paper two, listening. Test number four. There are five parts to the test. Parts one, two, three, four, and five. Look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. What time is it? Excuse me, can you tell me the time? Yes, it's nine o'clock. Thank you. You're welcome. The answer is nine o'clock, so there is a tick in box C. Now we're ready to start. Look at question one. One. What was the weather like on Wednesday? What was the weather like when you were on holiday? Fine. It was sunny every day until Wednesday. Really? What happened then? Well, it was sunny in the morning, but it rained in the afternoon. Now listen again. What was the weather like when you were on holiday? Fine. It was sunny every day until Wednesday. Really? What happened then? Well, it was sunny in the morning, but it rained in the afternoon. Two. How much did Mark's pullover cost? That's a nice pullover, Mark. Was it expensive? Hmm. Fourteen pounds ninety-nine. Oh, that's not bad. No, and I do like blue. Now listen again. That's a nice pullover, Mark. Was it expensive? Hmm. Fourteen pounds ninety-nine. Oh, that's not bad. No, and I do like blue. Three. What did Raquel buy today? Hi, Raquel. You're looking well. New skirt. Thanks, Tina. No, I've had this skirt for a long time. I bought these boots this morning. Do you like them? Yes, very nice. They look good with that jacket. Now listen again. Hi, Raquel. You're looking well. New skirt. Thanks, Tina. No, I've had this skirt for a long time. I bought these boots this morning. Do you like them? Yes, very nice. They look good with that jacket. Four. How many students are there at the college? How many students are there at your college? Oh, there's lots. It's quite a big college. More than three hundred? Oh yes, more than twice that. About seven hundred and fifty, I think. Now listen again. How many students are there at your college? Oh, there's lots. It's quite a big college. More than three hundred? Oh yes, more than twice that. About seven hundred and fifty, I think. Five. What is David going to buy? Hi, David. What are you looking for? 
I don't know what to buy for Rachel's birthday. Well, I've bought her a CD, so why don't you get her a book? Yes, that's a good idea. I will. Now listen again. Hi, David. What are you looking for? I don't know what to buy for Rachel's birthday. Well, I've bought her a CD, so why don't you get her a book? Yes, that's a good idea. I will. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Philip talking to his mother about his son Simon. What is Simon going to do on Saturday and Sunday? For questions six to ten, write a letter A to H next to each time of day. You will hear the conversation twice. Well, Mum, thanks for having Simon to stay for a couple of days. That's okay, Philip. What have I got to do? Well, Saturday's busy. In the morning, he's got his judo class. Right. And in the afternoon, he's going to a birthday party, isn't he? No, that's in the evening. He's going to the football match in the afternoon. Remember? Oh yes, I remember now. So, what time does the party start? At half past seven, but Mrs. Carter will bring him home. Fine. Now on Sunday morning we can go to the swimming pool on our bikes. <sighs> well, he's got a cold, so swimming isn't a very good idea. But he'd like a bicycle ride. Okay. Your father wants to take Simon to the park in the afternoon. Fine, and then. A quiet evening watching TV. What about a trip to the cinema? No, I think he'll be too tired for that. Okay. Now listen again. Well, Mum, thanks for having Simon to stay for a couple of days. That's okay, Philip. What have I got to do? Well, Saturday's busy. In the morning, he's got his judo class. Right, and in the afternoon, he's going to a birthday party, isn't he? No, that's in the evening. He's going to the football match in the afternoon. Remember? Oh yes, I remember now. So, what time does the party start? At half past seven, but Mrs. Carter will bring him home. Fine. Now on Sunday morning. We can go to the swimming pool on our bikes. <sighs> well, he's got a cold, so swimming isn't a very good idea. But he'd like a bicycle ride. Okay. Your father wants to take Simon to the park in the afternoon. Fine. And then a quiet evening watching TV. What about a trip to the cinema? No, I think he'll be too tired for that. Okay. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to Chloe talking to a man about a sailing holiday. For questions eleven to fifteen, tick A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions eleven to fifteen now. You have twenty seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Hello. Can I help you? 
Yes, I'd like to go on a sailing holiday this summer in Italy. Have you been sailing before? No, I wanted to go to Sweden last year, but I didn't have enough money. Well, it is quite expensive. Sailing holidays start at about three hundred pounds. Yes, my friends went in August last year. They paid four hundred and fifty pounds each. The most I can pay is three hundred and eighty pounds. Well, that should be enough. When's the cheapest time to go? Well, August is the most expensive month. September and October are cheaper. Hmm. October's too late for me, so I'll go in September. Would you like to be by the sea or a lake? Well, I'd prefer a lake in the mountains. Okay. The Aqua Center in North Italy will be best for you. That costs three hundred and seventy pounds. Okay. Um, can I pay by credit card? I haven't got my checkbook. Yes, that's fine. Now listen again. Hello, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to go on a sailing holiday this summer in Italy. Have you been sailing before? No, I wanted to go to Sweden last year, but I didn't have enough money. Well, it is quite expensive. Sailing holidays start at about three hundred pounds. Yes, my friends went in August last year. They paid four hundred and fifty pounds each. The most I can pay is three hundred and eighty pounds. Well, that should be enough. When's the cheapest time to go? Well, August is the most expensive month. September and October are cheaper. Hmm. October's too late for me, so I'll go in September. Would you like to be by the sea or a lake? Well, I'd prefer a lake in the mountains. Okay. The Aqua Center in North Italy will be best for you. That costs three hundred and seventy pounds. Okay. Um, can I pay by credit card? I haven't got my checkbook. Yes, that's fine. This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear Kate and Jeremy talking about a party. Listen, and complete questions sixteen to twenty. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello. Hi, Jeremy. It's Kate. I'm going to have a party next week. Would you like to come to it? A party? That's great. What's it for? It's my birthday on Wednesday. I'm going to be seventeen. Oh dear! I can't come on Wednesday. No, my birthday's Wednesday, but the party's on Friday. Oh, that's okay. What time will it begin? At eight thirty. Right. That should be no problem. It's going to be at the London Hotel. Do you know where that is? Let me think. The London Hotel. No, I don't. Well, it's near the town centre on Shindy Street. Could you spell that for me? Yeah, sure. It's S H I N D Y, Shindy Street. Okay, I can find that. I've got a map. Can I bring anything? Well, I need a lot of pencils for a game we're going to play. Okay, I'll bring some pencils. Thanks. See you there. Now listen again. Hello. 
Hi, Jeremy. It's Kate. I'm going to have a party next week. Would you like to come to it? A party? That's great. What's it for? It's my birthday on Wednesday. I'm going to be seventeen. Oh dear! I can't come on Wednesday. No, my birthday's Wednesday, but the party's on Friday. Oh, that's okay. What time will it begin? At eight thirty. Right. That should be no problem. It's going to be at the London Hotel. Do you know where that is? Let me think. The London Hotel. No, I don't. Well, it's near the town centre on Shindy Street. Could you spell that for me? Yeah, sure. It's S H I N D Y, Shindy Street. Okay, I can find that. I've got a map. Can I bring anything? Well, I need a lot of pencils for a game we're going to play. Okay, I'll bring some pencils. Thanks. See you there. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear some information about a cinema. Listen, and complete questions twenty-one to twenty-five. You will hear the information twice. Thank you for calling the North London Art Cinema, Wood Green. There is no one to answer your call at the moment. The North London Art Cinema is open seven days a week, showing a variety of British and foreign films. Next week, we will show an Italian film called Midnight Meeting. It is set in Milan. In the 1950s, you can see that film from Monday to Thursday. It will be on twice a day in the evenings. That's at 6:45 and 9:15. The film lasts two hours and 15 minutes. Tickets are four pounds. But there is a special student ticket at two pounds eighty for all our midweek films. Please bring your student card if you want the cheaper ticket. The nearest car park to the cinema is in Hoxton Street. That's H A U X T O N. It's just five minutes' walk from the cinema. Thank you for calling the North London Art Cinema. If you require further information, phone during office hours, nine a.m. to four thirty p.m. Monday to Friday. Now listen again. Thank you for calling the North London Art Cinema, Wood Green. There is no one to answer your call at the moment. The North London Art Cinema is open seven days a week, showing a variety of British and foreign films. Next week, we will show an Italian film called Midnight Meeting. It is set in Milan. In the 1950s, you can see that film from Monday to Thursday. It will be on twice a day in the evenings. That's at 6:45 and 9:15. The film lasts two hours and 15 minutes. Tickets are four pounds. But there is a special student ticket at two pounds eighty for all our midweek films.
please bring your student card if you want the cheaper ticket. The nearest car park to the cinema is in Hoxton Street. That's H A U X T O N. It's just five minutes' walk from the cinema. Thank you for calling the North London Art Cinema. If you require further information, phone during office hours, 9 a.m. to 4:30 p.m. Monday to Friday. This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.